All right, here we go. Another part, another chapter. I keep calling them parts. This is a the chapter called The Patrol. I might get into my my uh, little intro after I run the cinematic, though, because I think we start off with a, a little something here. Let's go. So for anyone new, I am planning a really big review that you miss being with him? will break this game down Jesse? by the chapter. That's <laughs> no. if there's enough interest. If not, I might so do long. it in my free time. Look, but, Jesse's great. I love his parents. On my Maybe review channel, family, but we were just on auto I love how the snow falls off. It's the little things. On my main channel, hey, Make Path Presents, I already stuff. do this type of review for movies know. and shows. Feel... And we're trying really it with uh, The Last of Us, Part 1 and 2, starting with 2, There's obviously, since about. it's the newest. Yow. I just, I, I got the impression that you didn't really like her. I don't care about her one way or the other. <laughs> okay. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. That's so big of you. And I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. Now, with the cinematics and with some of the um, talking, I'm not going to be... Or at least I'm going to try not to talk as much as possible because I will be using clips for my review. As well as no webcam, obviously, because I'm using clips for my review. <laughs> Just to put that out there. Hey. You want to see something spectacular? You're going to point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, brother. Come on, stupid. I just want to check. I always check out the way a little bit. Sometimes you can get the companion play the companion player we'll call them. Sometimes you can get them to say an additional line that uh, they wouldn't normally say. I had that happen already. Hey, this way. I'm hoping to recreate that. It, it's much later on. It was with. I don't think it was with Dina. I think it was with Jesse. But he said a line on my second playthrough that he never said on my first one. view, huh? It's pretty nice. Yeah, this route has its perks. Where we sign in? <laughs> Come on. Fuck. It is pretty cool looking, though. I thought I was supposed to... Oh, yeah, yeah. I already platinum this game, so I don't think it matters, but I am going to try to do the entries and whatnot for the review. Obviously, it would be silly for me to just overlook that, even though I platinum the game. 
some of that aids in the overall storytelling, which could be a pro or con. You what let you me know this route with? how you Is feel. It? Eugene. Right. Because oh, sometimes Eugene. it doesn't feel like it has Man, that. He was funny. That oh, yeah. hit. Like Mel, for example. She was trained by Abby's father. Which I felt like if there was more they do mention it yes. in a he taught me about different way. electronics and stuff. It's a like a one off line like uh seventy three. May we all make it to seventy three. Shit, I wanted to clip that. There I go talking like an idiot. I wanted to clip what they said right there because they they mirror everything. Abby and Ellie say. I'll go back and get that clip later. Uh, that's part of the mirrored storytelling to show that they're uh, two halves of the same coin. So you know how when they Sign say that there. I'm just going to pause the damn thing. They say that there with Abby, it's a quote that they have. May you live long or whatever. And the other, the other end of it, the person repeats and may you die swiftly. I don't, whatever the wolf quote is. Well, they do little things like this where they have the person say that. Something about being 72, and then this person says, "May I hope I live long, as long as 72. It's uh, one person holds the door open, ladies first. I think it's Joel. And then in Abby's game, again, everything is what was this mirrored. Place? Everything. Uh, it used to be a radio tower. But, like, for... Mel, for me, it just wasn't hitting, and it felt it no felt weak. Or not infected, for that matter. Seeing a storm, a couple miles out. Having Mel. Write it in a note. If I remember right, it's a. It, it, and if you don't read the note, you don't get it. You know what I mean? Like hey, if I'm you gonna skip guess this the bomb note. Was Eugene's? Huh? That's mine. He gave it to me. Hey, do you have any on you, actually? You oh, pothead. Eugene always had some on him. I don't know if I could get stoned and then be around clickers, man. Fuck that shit. <laughs> you know, like, fuck no, bro. Oh, man. And there. And then here we have... I remember reading through this. I didn't get too much out of it, but it helps flesh the world out. But I think that's fine. Little things like that. But when it's important to the story... Like, Mel went all the way out there with Abby because she trained under Abby's father, and it just reading it in a note. Town up ahead's our last stop. Take a look. Reading it that way just didn't do anything for me. Ah, uh, there's a ski lodge. That's the one on Tommy and Joel's route. That's the one. I don't think that she said that last time I looked through these. Maybe I missed it. I see a strip mall. Oh, with the supermarket? No, town's past that. Let me look over here, see if she says anything different. No, I guess she only says three things. Yeah, I see that storm. No, four. Gonna have some good sledding tomorrow. Mm-hmm. There's the town. Okay. With the big tower thing? Yep, that's where the next lookout is. That looks kind of far, actually. <laughs> Let's get back to the horses. Can break that window? Guess not. What I miss? Oh no, that's a rope. Question: Were you wearing those same clothes yesterday? <sighs> They're clean. No judgment. It's patrol, you know. We're here to kill infected, not to look fancy. Still look nice. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> and they got the breath coming out of their mouth. 
How long can I stand here and do nothing? Will she say something? Alright, I won't bore you. <laughs> Sworn I heard a chirp. It's driving me nuts now. I hear two chirps. No, oh, never mind. I guess I'm just dumb. I could have sworn. Alright, never mind. I'm losing my shit. go out like Eugene from a stroke oh from old age like living a long life you no way come on you're way too reckless oh, look who's talking well, you'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow I am wearing boots today you know how you're gonna die Dude, let me guess you're gonna kill me Maybe. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. Look how the ice breaks, too. Look at that. <laughs> and you can already see how next gen would be even more crisper. And that's the interesting thing about next gen consoles. PlayStation 3 and The Last of Us looked so good. I mean, so good. And then when you get with next gen, it looks so dated in some areas. What, wait, what is this? Can I get off my horse here? No, you won't let me. Damn you, game. But I can go a different way, huh? Oh, I like that. I like options. That's one thing The Last of Us has done really well with their level design. As I'm running in the trees, they've given you different options. So if you replay this mission a few times, uh, you can go this way. No, I guess not. You can't go this way. Come on, jump horse. All right. No, you can't go this way. I can't get off either. But for example, if you replay it once or twice on your first playthrough, you can go this way. And it's a little thing, but I mean, at least it helps somewhat to add something extra, something new, something different. Man, this horse is really letting loose. Can I go this way? Did I see a different... No. That's alright. Hey, should we check these houses out? Seems quiet, but we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. <laughs> Get in there, yo. What do you know about this place? It's another evacuated neighborhood. Infected almost never make it out this far. We usually catch them on the outer perimeter. These trailers are neat. Nice little portable home. You think people really traveled a lot in these things? Well, wouldn't you? I mean, if I'd lived pre-outbreak, yeah, I'd go see the whole country. Or travel to another country. Maybe one day we will. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Jesse talked a lot about going to Canada. He said there's these, like, giant <laughs> waterfalls out there he Spoiler. wanted to see. Spoiler, he ain't going there. Really? He's such a hardcore Jackson guy. Everybody's got their dream. Yeah. <laughs> 
Make sure the ca camper is clear. What are you doing about? Uh, I was thinking of inviting Joel to watch a movie. Oh. You guys good? Yeah. What movie are you guys gonna watch? What's Joel into? Uh, Curtis and Viper 2. That's the one that's been on my radar for a while. Oh, wow. Well, we used to watch these cheesy 80s action movies. He's really into them. Oh, no. I actually really like them, too. What about you? What are you doing later? Some people were talking about sneaking out. Going sledding. Oh, sounds fun. Yeah. You want to meet up after? Uh, okay. Maybe I'll play guitar for you. Okay. This one. Isn't it one of the superhero cards you're all into? Oh, yeah. What's Curtis and Viper 2 about? Okay, so two Man, former commandos <laughs> that go rogue to fight bad guys. And I think in this one, they go up against Russian spies or something. I guess I'm it more helps. interested in this than I thought it would be. All right, so the young one, Viper, he's a trained ninja, and he's a complete badass. So, how old is he in the first movie? Uh, ten. Wait, how many movies did they make of this? Uh, I think they made four? Jeez. I think there's only a couple houses you can go into. Do you think anybody out there is still making movies? Has to be. How do you know? I mean, what if they're all just what like us? Just surviving day to day. Well, I write new music, so all the footprints stay. Not a camera. The tracks. Wait, that's pretty up. cool. There are original Ellie songs. Why haven't you played any for me? Well, I, I, I don't know. I Come know on. The horse Will you play one from? for me tonight? Mm. I'll think about it. Or why are they coming over here? I mean. <gasps> Oof. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't hit the triangle button. Come on, get back on your horse. I wonder why they have them on two horses now, and later in the game they make you go on one horse. I wonder why that is, because clearly they can do the game with a companion on a second horse. We even did it in the first game. Three horses, if I remember right. I mean, maybe... A, I don't know. Maybe it was just cleaner to have them take one horse and then Maria... You know, Maria only lets them take one horse and then when they blow the horse up, it's cleaner to do one horse. Oh, easy, baby. It would take to bring down a moose. More than one. Where the hell are they? Let's go find them. Someone did make a criticism that I didn't pick up on, but after kind of thinking about it a bit, the criticism does hold strong. Now, listen, this is a post apocalyptic world, oh so. All our luxury living bullshit needs to shut up, you know, and you got to get back to reality. For example, like your Twitter luxury, the afraid to offend women and afraid to offend oh, everybody. Uh, not just women either, but afraid to offend men. Um, but what I'm trying to say is one of the criticism is you're protecting this town and you send two teenagers out, two teenage females out. And, uh... Oh, shit, I am dumb. 
Look out! But I wanna, I wanna bring him out here anyway. No, El yo, I got this on Survivor. Let that fucking. You gotta be shitting me. Can I stop them from killing? <laughs> Isn't that a thing where you can uh, keep your controls on display, audio accessibility? Uh, combat. Enemies don't flank. Reduce enemy... Uh, da, 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 da. Allies don't get grabbed. Enable combat. Hostages, no. Allies, enemies don't reduce enemy... No, no, no. Hands dodge. What is that? Dodge with L1 is better? Wait, how do you have enhanced dodge? <laughs> how is that a thing? Dodge is dodge. Invisible while prone? Yo, one day I got to play with some of these on. They seem pretty ridiculous. But I could have sworn I had it on. Look. Player amount allies aggressiveness of allies in combat adjusted difficulty set passive I have it on extremely passive oh, no more killing that's one anyway so yeah the one of the criticism is you have this whole town of people Jackson hundreds of people and you have teenage girls going out and that's why I, I say that not to sound like a dick but to to Let's be real about it. When I heard that criticism, it rung true. You're not going to send... I wouldn't send teenage boys out, let alone send some teenage girls out. You know what I'm saying? I would first look at middle-aged or 20, and then if I'm that desperate, I'd be like, all right, we'll send out some teenagers if we got a... Uh, you know, a teenager with maybe a supervisor type thing. Um, I'm always afraid of opening a door. And not, not, uh, and like blocking myself off, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, ooh, there's some bullets. So, yeah, that criticism I do agree with, and it's something that I obviously got to add as a flaw. I didn't think about it. Now, keep in mind, I was, uh, I'm a big Ellie fan, so. You tell me I'm going to play Ellie and I want to go hunt clickers and go on a run like this? <laughs> okay. Bam! You good? Yeah. Nice so, throw, by the way. Thanks. It didn't even register for me. I just immediately was like, yeah, Maybe let's do it. Was barricaded. How'd that runner get in here? Yeah. Right there, bitch. Question. There's blood and evidence telling us how. What's the most infected you've ever taken down on patrol? It's gotta be the one I had with Joel a year or so ago. It was like, I don't know, a dozen? You? Cleared about 20 once. That's cool. Passing through. She's talking about the bloater one. Maybe we'll get you a new personal record today. I think it's called uh, getting strings or something. That chapter. Okay, just make sure I didn't miss anything. Dina, this way. My idea, my ideal gameplay here is to play it normally, and then. All right, how many do we got? One, two, three. Play it normally, and when I'm done clearing, just look for any additional things because I am raiding the whole setup of it all. This angle here is great. Showing Dina in the background. The game naturally does that for you. I'm sure you can move it if you don't feel like looking at Dina in the background, but it's cinematic in a way. And I'm sure that's why they did it. Yeah, look at that snow melting. Now, <laughs> oh, look at that. She leaves bloody footprints, too. Nice. Now can I? Hell yeah. Fucking sweet. Ah, 
Oh, I don't have a brick. What is there, just two in here? Oh, that ain't nothing. Alright, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, I forgot about this guy over here. Hmm. Oh, that's a window. Oh, he's dead. Don't kill him, Dina. I want to do something. Dina, why can't I do that? I love how their face twitches a little too. That is friggin' epic. Yeah. Looks like it. I suck. We still at gotta get the ones in the supermarket. Let's jumping off of vehicles. There's gotta be a way in. At first I was like you jump and then when you're gonna hit them you uh hit triangle. Or square, you know what I mean? Then I was like, well no, because I watched someone else do it and she pulls the knife out when she jumps, so then I was thinking you gotta jump and hit square when you're in the air, but I can't get it to work. I don't know if you could do it. I've never seen anyone do it to infected, though. Maybe that's my problem. I gotta try it on a human. I still haven't done it yet. I did it once on accident in my first or second uh, playthrough, and ever since then I can't do it again. I don't know why. I just suck at life. Uh... It's a cool, you know, a cool little level area. Sports store, looks like. But yeah, you guys will have to let me know. I didn't pick up on it. Two teenage girls, keep in mind, Ellie's 19. Let's say Dina is uh, 20. She does seem a bit older. All right, go ahead. Uh, does it is this something you thought about? Is this because I totally didn't think about it, but now that they brought it up, it is a solid criticism. Um, there's a hole in the roof over there. And does it bother you? Uh, to Here. be honest, it's one of those criticisms where it's like, I get it, and it does feel a little Thanks. ridiculous. Look, but uh, it's easy for see? me to overlook it. All right, let's figure out how to get. Because I love Ellie, <laughs> you know. It's like fuck yeah, yeah. You know. I'm playing as Ellie. I don't give a shit how silly that is. Under here. It could be worse. There could be no time jump and she could be 15 out on patrol. That would be crazy. Ellie? Son of a bitch. Are you clean? I tried yeah. Just to up. get killed there. I Please, swear, I, I swear, I tapped on square really like twice, the and then I remembered. <laughs> Deal. Cool. I have to look at some of the death animations. I'll end up going back and redoing it, so it's no worry. I just, I gotta remember that. Wait, can I not? No. Okay, whatever. But I swear, I barely touched that damn square. Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> Neeg, ma'am. I'm sorry to God for what I did. I wasn't going to hurt you. I didn't want anything from your store except for the drug. The drugs. Your husband came at me. What choice did I have? My little sister stopped feeling her feet, you fucker. I needed the insulin. Everyone is hoarding this stuff. What choice did I have? I hope he survives. I'm so sorry. Seth. <laughs> Was that him? Anything good back there? No, I'm Actually, kidding. Yeah. I know it's not him, nice. but I make fun of him ever since my first live stream, and he had his, uh, I can never remember what it's called, Bigot Biscuits, Bigot Burger. Alright. 
Now, what is that? Did I really miss something in there? I did. Because I'm terrible at it. Hey, Dina. <laughs> Catch. Aw, I screwed it up. Is there two of them? Nice. You kind of got to do it like this, but <laughs> not because she'll dodge it. Uh, it's neat, though, that they have her dodge it. But sometimes you can clap her with it. When she was on a horse, she can't dodge it, so I cracked her right in the face, right in the nose. That is cool. This way. And snow's on my shirt. If you crawl in mud, mud even goes on your shirt. Well, it's only for a little bit, I think, but it's pretty impressive. Mud, dirt, blood. It gets on your outfit. And again, at least for a little bit. I don't expect it to stay there. That would be kind of ridiculous, because then by the hey, end of the game, you'd be filled. Got alcohol. A couple of rags. Here. Fix yourself up. This part I think they should correct. Now, this I feel is a solid flaw. They can have you now. I don't know if they can do it in part one, but see how you can pull up the um, the quick cross. I don't know if that's the name, but that's what I call it, where you have your cross of weapons and throwables and healables in one cross. Uh, throwables, healables up, and weapons left and right. Now you can quick select something to craft from there, from your quick cross. Now, once you do, like I just did with the healable, it locks you in the menu. And you have to get out of it. Click the button to get out of it. Now, I think you should go from this where it says craft and you hit X and it pulls this up and crafts it. As soon as the crafting is done, it should take you out of it immediately. Now, if you want to go in and craft multiple items, it's up for you to do the, the mouse pad click to go for multiple items. So I think it, for the quick craft, I think that's something they should have tweaked. I think I'm going to find candy bars. I don't know if I'm supposed to, or I don't know if the game wants you to heal specifically there, but it seemed again. like it, so I did. Masks on. Got Come it. on. Oh, yeah, you got to put your mask on. A clip even falls on the ground. Which is stupid in the video game, plus it's stupid in the movie. Not a clip, but that's a magazine. A clip of bullets goes in a magazine, and then that's how you load the gun. Well, this is hella dumb, because magazine without a magazine, you can't shoot a gun, and they're not cheap. <laughs> it's not something that you would toss on the ground. I really hate how video games... I think it's neat for the the detail the attention to detail but what would be even better is if she put the clip in her book bag because the idea is not the clip the magazine sorry the idea is she would put bullets back in it to reload it and switch between magazines uh just a little hollywood needs to stop doing this you could tell no one who actually likes guns had anything to Remember, do with that because that would have been i don't want to have to shoot you in the face oh. That's so sweet. That would have been odd. What's the word I'm looking for? All these spores mean they've been here for a while. A pet Keep peeve of theirs. Infected. Yep. Here's something else they do Is this with. part of the supermarket? I don't know. I think we're above it. Let's get to the ground floor. I'll show you in a second. I'm waiting for them to talk. I don't want to keep talking over them, but I know sometimes I'm going to have to in order to get this flowing. I only need the cinematics for clips, really, unless it's something important. 
specifically that I'm making a point of, point about for the characters interacting with each other. Keep in mind, I already played it uh, twice now, and I played it once specifically listening for the character interactions. But this is something interesting I haven't noticed in video games before, not to this degree, but there's a lot of effects or visuals that are done in a transparent sort of way where it's not like this solid, they do it with hair, it's not like this solid. I wonder if I can do it in... Uh, sometimes you can notice it in the uh, photo editor. See her, the edge of her hair, hair there? It's like really fine, thin um, strands in the visuals they make. They do it with water, with certain things. See that there? Now, when you look up close to some of them, it is, it's a little off. It's a little odd. I'll find better examples. But at a distance... It just helps make it look more stringy. Like right here, you can notice it a lot. A lot right there. And I would be really curious. It's as if it's... What's the word look for? It's as if like they, they did the visuals to look like a mesh instead of solids. And with hair... And with other stuff, it works out really, really well. Like right here. See the stringy stuff? It's more like a mesh, uh, translucent graphic in between. See right in the middle of my cursor there? Anyway. Ah, combo safe. Now there's... A way to do this without finding the combination. You gotta listen for the clicks. Ready? Bam. Sounds different. Already? I'm gonna mess that up. Wait. No, I screwed that up yeah, somehow. This is pointless. No, we'll get it. Seven. Seven. Do you hear that? Okay, that's weird. The 13 sounded like it did it on the on both of them. Anyway, the reason I did that specifically, I know some of you probably already realized that by now. It's a real subtle difference in sound. And this just tells us where the combo is. So let's go verify the combo. But the reason I did that is because it's something that I think is a positive in the game. So that would be an awe. Uh, instead of having to deal with the combo, if you have a little patience and you listen, and it's not something that's annoying like the ones, the video games that do the really stupid and random lockpick crap. All right, there we go. July set, or 7, and then it's 2013. I'm going to have to listen back again. That really sounded like it was giving me a positive for the 13 when it should have been 20. Anyway, so yeah, I think that is a uh, an awe because if you do, if you're replaying the game and don't want to mess about with finding the combos or even playing it in your first go and you hear about it or discover it on your own, I think it's a neat alternative for the uh, safe. And you do got to pay attention. At least I do. I have to pay attention to the sound. That clock ain't moving. That's a flaw. Just kidding. Joking, I joke. See, I should have saved my med kit because now there's a candy bar I, I can't eat. It pisses me off. All right, something feels off here. Controls. Yeah, I got my aim and sensitivity up. It just feels stiff. Oh shit! I forgot about that. <laughs>
I had to. That just looks so cool, man. I'm taking a little pick of that. Bam. All right, back to the regularly scheduled program. -o. Wait, is that a word? Now, if I shoot a gun... They know right where I am. I'm being quiet for the sound. Oh, 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 yo, he, he, he one hit a quitter me, yo, shit. All right, well, I was being quiet on purpose for the sound just for the review, but I forgot I took off the interaction prompt and I was waiting for the prompt and I just kept getting closer like a dumbass. <laughs> Fuckers make my skin crawl. Let's make sure the rest of the building's cleared out. And then get the fuck out of here. Speak in my language. Yo, did that clip just like fly out of her gun like crazy or am I seeing shit? Okay, so I was testing and I screwed it up, but I was testing whether or not the clickers can hear this. Because in part one, believe it or not, I kicked over a light and the bad guy villains, the good, the human, they heard it, which impressed the shit out of me. Found the door. Help me out. Wait, it's not doing it. You can jump over the counter and, and knock over stuff. So apparently this is a permanent fixture and I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's a permanent fixture there. Well, whatever. So a couple things. The sound on the clickers uh, is great. Now, some stuff is going to be gameplay points that will be tallied. Uh, it'll be showed off in the review, most likely, but we'll have a separate segment for the gameplay specifically. Uh, and... <laughs> I don't know why. That's my thing, throwing bottles at, at my companion, whoever it is. Anyhow, um, the cl having the clickers click while you are in front of them, and that's how they spot you through the sound, that is something that I think is freaking awesome. And I, I give the mad props on that. As far as counting that as a point, I definitely do. Because that is a cool uh, little... Wait, you can't move, can you? <laughs> See, I don't, uh, you guys are probably going to curse me out because that's so stupid, but I think it's funny as hell. The trick is you can't throw it when you're aiming at them. You actually move your aim. So if you want to throw it, you got to throw it high and then move it low before she throws it. That's what everything in the, in the game. If you're aiming at a bad guy and they move, you move and you'll be able to hit them unless it locks on. If you have it set for it to lock on, then you're good. Make you a present. I'll take a present. Ellie.
Here. Thanks. Careful with that. I'm a pro. We're not done. Oh shit. I got stuff right in front of my face. Alright, listen mode, enhanced craft melee upgrades. Let's do listen mode. Now we're done. Nope. So this section, this patrol section, is a touch longer than I remembered it. I will be... For certain ones, for certain missions that are in areas that are pretty spread out or they might have a different dynamic to the gameplay, I will be doing some pretty risky tests because it really doesn't matter uh, if I die in certain areas and then just replay it. I'm hoping you don't have to replay so much on uh, survival. But it looks like this one is a pretty cool one. I'll try stealth on this. Gonna turn around, oh, bitch. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Is there a hole in her throat? It got all the details down. Even when the, or how the blood runs out, they did a great job with that. <laughs> See, that's cool as shit. Nice pair of titties on that clicker too. I'm going too fast. Whatever. Oh. Ah, switch guns, yeah. Oh, yeah, burn, baby. And he's still moving. Uh, nope. You know what? I'm impressed with us. Yeah. Man, the guys are not going to believe our numbers. Okay. Let's go to the next lookout and take a fucking look. We earned it. Agreed. Based on those logs, these numbers are actually pretty damn good. Because, I mean, right here we killed, if I remember right, more than those logs have on on each individual day. I don't know about all together. Is that the end of the killing? I don't know why I made that Molotov. Don't know why I'm grabbing bullets either, I guess. 
that is something that makes me wonder when I'm playing the game. However, I think it's more of a positive. You're just gonna keep you guessing. Curl me up through that hole in the roof. Okay. That was a cute interaction. It keeps you guessing. If you stop looting bullets, plus it gives you ammo if you're, you're looting this and then shit hits the fan. But if you stop looting, then you'll be able to start predicting, oh, there's nothing coming. You know, there's nothing left. Oh, I forgot about this damn room. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to play this again. And I think I came in here last time when I played my first time came in this room. Ah, good one. That was a good one. I'm looking at areas like this. It's hidden right there. Here you go. Oh, close. The rope is a little addition that I'm glad they only showed right Fuck before yeah. release because as neat as it is, and I like variety, okay, especially in video games, variety keeps things fresh. It's just not used enough in this game to be much of anything, you know? They use it a few times, sure. But I think it's like less than 10 when you get up here. in, in 20, 30 hours of gameplay. I could be wrong. And some of them are optional. Like in Seattle with Ellie. That sound is awesome. Listen to it. Over here. ahead. Ah, the game's gonna force me to slow down, I think. This is getting worse. Turn back. We won't make it. We're almost there. Yeah, the go. game's making me stop. No, Look at her as go. she's going. Fuck it then. Dina, how much further? Look around. I never took a look and see what she looks like on her horse. That looks pretty good, man. The horse graphics is pretty fly. Dina! I bet you they did that for the developers. I bet you they can play the game and move the camera, obviously. Because this looks like something that they showed off. I didn't Dina, slow down. It's forcing me to slow down. No, they probably just did this. I'm dumb. Nina? Yeah. <laughs> I am an idiot. Sometimes. Fuck. Fuck. Nina! Yeah. <laughs> uh... It's cool, though. Oh, what is this? Fuck am I? Dina! 
you over by having a picnic over here. There's another camper. It won't let me go much faster. Oh, maybe this is the way to go. Probably not. Going in circles. That's I'm neat. I'm, go I'm going away on purpose. Uh, I'm here, near the fucking snow. Is she coming? She's not going to talk anymore. I thought they would have a little more interaction. I will say this game is pretty much flawless when it comes to transitioning from cutscenes to gameplay. It is I'll get the door. smooth. Damn, an hour on patrol? That's crazy. You've been here? Rode by it. Never came inside. All right, let's make sure it's clear. Be able to pet the horse. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. I actually did it on accident, but it was right after I said, You should pet the horse. So what is this, a little library? Yeah, it is. I knew that. I just forgot. What, what is with all these bottles? Yo, when I'm playing the freaking game, I'm always looking for bottles and bricks, and it feels like there's nowhere near as many as the first game. And now that I don't need a damn bottle or brick, they're friggin' everywhere. Like, what, what am I doing with this shit? <laughs> Take it, Dina. Snowballs with glass, uh... We're having a snowball fight with glass bottles. Look, here. Oh, maybe that's why. I am stupid. Dina, catch. <laughs> She's not dodging them now. That's why I think... Feel like anyone's been here I wish you were Joel, bro. I wish you were Joel. That's what I think of you. Oh, she did a neat little hop. Well, all right then. <laughs> Any more bottles? Damn. Oh, wait. Over here. What is this shit? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where's those bottles at? Oh, here we go. Someone's locked this place up. There's something back there. I think I see a bed. I think we got a squatter. You see another way in? Break that. No, of course not. I mean, it would be pretty cool. Wouldn't make any sense, I guess. I didn't know I broke both of them. I'll hold on to this one. Yeah, I did that. I did that. What's going on here? All this electronic stuff? This has to be Eugene's. Are you sure? Yeah, nobody else would tinker with this shit. But why would he hide it from me? 
how much you want to bet they named this character after Eugene from The Walking Dead? It just, it seems too similar. Because Eugene on The Walking Dead tinkered with everything, you know? That was his shtick. Huh. Definitely Eugene's place. He was a firefly? He served with Tommy. I had no idea. Yeah. They got into some real dark shit. Like what? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver QZ. Killed three soldiers. And two civilians. Jesus. He also told me that he and Tommy slow tortured some big Fedra general. I don't know. I, I don't buy Tommy doing that, though. He could do worse. What do you mean? He and Joel did a lot to survive after the outbreak. Boost the power in you. Is that what that said? Rebels of fire? No, I already looked at that. So, uh, this one. I wanted to see if she spoke every time she looked at it. Prep. You guys let me know if you think they na named Eugene after The Walking Dead. I think oh they did. Oh my god. Did. It's Tommy and Eugene. They look like babies here. Huh. Eugene. Why does the Eugene guy look familiar? Why I don't know what it is, but he looks Peter's? familiar. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. Eugene, I'm begging you to come home. The Fireflies want to save the world. I say let them. Let them go after the military and the politicians. The Harsh. <sighs> Eugene. I already read that one. Yeah, he looks familiar, man. I don't know what it is. He's got that face, hey, I guess. Found the generator. Can I unlock that? No. your gun with this gear now the crafting table is obviously going to be an awe <laughs> this thing is sexy hmm and you want a pro tip do stability first on long range weapons and anything you use close range do stability last. Stability on your shotgun is friggin' useless almost, you know, because uh, I'm gonna go with capacity. I'm pretty good with my shot, so I'm gonna go with capacity, but stability on a shotgun is pointless if you're clapping somebody when they're two feet away. But stability for when you're aiming long, long range helps yeah, for that sway, that good accuracy. Man, these benches though are sexy. Oh, hello. Ellie, this look is, at the floor. There's that's more cool stuff how down they there. do uh, underground. You see a way down? Uh, 
hideout, hangout, clubhouse, man cave, whatever you want to call it. I almost missed the giraffe. But that was probably purposefully placed. So when you enter, you most likely see it on your way back out the door. They do clever shit like that in video games. Video game level design. Like, for example, this is... I could have sworn there was another thing over here that beeped. Like, this is cool. Wait, where'd it go? Ah, here we go. What's he got down here? Well, it's obviously a sex den. That's why he didn't tell you about it. I hope it's a sex den. For his sake. He was so lonely, man. Booyah. Oh my god. That's a lot of pot though, man. That's a lot of dead weed. This explains a lot. Wait, was that moving? Yeah, it was. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. She could bump into him. Can she knock one over though? That would be fire. Crash Bandicoot it's got Easter that egg. Videotape thing. Huh. Dong of the Wolf. Smash Brandy's cooch. Are these? It's porn. <laughs> Interesting taste, Eugene. Yeah. That's one hell of an Easter egg. <laughs> Maria would lose her shit if she saw this place. How'd he get this together? Must have taken him forever. I wish he'd told me about this. Could have helped him out. Dina. It's a gas mask bong. God, he was so smart. What else they got laying around here? Oh my god, it's a bong made out of a uh, whiskey bottle. Jack Daniels, it looks like the shape. <laughs> That's fire. Rover. I don't know what that is. Little plants. The trick, though, is... What's his setup look like? Did they actually study uh, the setup? Because... This is questionable. There, well, no, this is a this is the room to cure the weed. What about growing it? See, the reason I say it's questionable is because uh, in order to grow some fire, well, first off, you don't want the uh, male plants because then you'll get your female plants full of seeds. So in order to get seedless, you want all female plants. And see, the thing, though, is... Let's see, it looks like he has some tarps up, but the thing is, I guess that's growing and this is drying. If you got, if you put them on a light cycle, you can't have, or you're not supposed to have any light whatsoever. It works better if it's just flat. Oh, you can keep picking that up, huh? It just, I wonder if she says anything different. It just works if it's flat, black, dark, and you do your light cycles. And you'll mess them up if you have even just a little light creeping in. So this setup is, it's cool, but it's, Probably not legit. They likely have them drying because they hang them to cure them so you can get the buds and smoke them. So I don't know. But it's still cool as shit, though. This is why I say... And these look like just regular fluorescent lamps. I mean, I don't know. I guess they could be something with... I don't know. That 
in the game you can pretend like there's some type of ultra awesome lamp that's needed. Ah. Yep. Oh, this is there the we end, go. I guess. You think it's still good? Does weed go bad? Hmm. Let's find out. You having a hard time? No, I got it. <clears throat> Fuck. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Like you're gonna get it. <sighs> okay. It's... Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? I got it open, didn't I? <sighs> Smells good. I mean, when we struck here a while, right? Totally trapped. Can I ask you a question? I don't know, can you? Scale of one to ten. One being like absolute trash. And ten being life altering. How would you rate our kiss from last night? Why are we still talking about this? You said it was a mistake. Did I say that? doing? I asked you to rate our kiss. I don't know. I give it a six. A six? Wow. Like a solid six. Okay. There are a lot of people around. Yeah, but six. Oh, what? I mean, now I really want to know how you'd rate it. I don't think you do. You're infuriating. Have you met you? You make me want to go back outside into that blizzard. Don't want to stop it. It's weird it's not letting me pause the damn game oh there we go i was wondering what was going on so that is definitely the end of patrol it was the longest one yet at an hour and 14 minutes yikes i thought these chapters would be you know slim until we get to the big ones anyway so final thoughts a little bit cringe with the dialogue there but i noticed even in some of the cringy parts um, performance wise, especially with Ellie's Ashley Johnson, just with what she's given, not dissing the other actor, just bit, you know, the little subtleties with Ellie, uh, performance is knocking it out of the park. And I think that's what really helps it, you know, bounce back and forth between even people who eh, might not blow their mind. They're still like, yeah, that's good. So overall, uh, they might end up loving it. Uh, and even the weaker moments aren't as weak because some of the performance, some of the graphics, some of the this and the some of the some of the uh, some of that, the um, sound design and, you know, the performances and all that makeup. So it's uh, I, I could definitely see how people are, are 
overall loving the game, how people just like the game, you know, um, even those weaker moments have other stronger moments propping it up. So anyhow, that is the patrol. And next up is I'm trying to think Jackson, the patrol. And then we have the horde coming up. Yeah, I cheated and I looked. So stay tuned. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll have the horde. Thoughts and opinions in the comment box. Please hit that like button. Please let me know if you want these to continue or not. I'm probably going to wait till after this one to uh, really see if you guys want to keep going with it. So let me know down in those comments. All right. Bye.